Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we finished up the Weather Institute, battled men, and got fly. And in this part, there is an invisible obstacle in our way. And we're going to be heading, well, on to try to solve the problem. So we'll head down here and see an old friend. Hello, Steven. Huh. Pokemon can be found up on Route 120. Route 120 has an interesting item. It has, in my mind, Pikachu's evolution, even though Cosplay Pikachu doesn't actually evolve. Um, I know I didn't heal up last game, uh, last game. so we're actually going to switch and put Anorith in the lead, because Anorith is always in the lead, uh, well, if it doesn't have the health to survive. And that person over there, we will get on the way back. I'm going to try to sneak around do as few fights as I can on the way down, and catch them all back on the way up. Uh, because I want to get, basically, I want to get Pikachu's evolution um, before uh, I really switch it and start doing make a lot of fights. But we head onto this bridge, and we see, well, there's Steven. Huh? So we meet again. You've been using the Mega Bracelet wisely. Uh, we have. wonder if you've noticed. Something here you can't see. So if we use a device on the Invisible Obstacle. No, rather than describing it, I'll just show you. It'd be more entertaining. Uh, yes, we're ready for the battle. In that case, take this. We are given the Devon Scope. I believe that's what it's called. Yep, the Devon Scope on. And we see a Kecleon. The starter Pokemon attacks. So, we're up against Kecleon. Uh, an interesting fight. Because it's that's going to be what the Invisible Obstacle over by the Fortress Gym is as well. Um, I'm going to Ancient Power it. Because Kecleon is the biggest threat thanks to his own ability. Thanks to the color change ability. He's going to lose stab a lot, because you can't have same type attack bonus when your type keeps changing every time you're hit by anything. The downside, of course, being uh, I can't use the same move twice against him because, well, it will kind of uh, counter each other without. So you try to use a move that's super effective on the previous type. We didn't get it this time. But Kecleon became rock type and then used their own ancient power. I think that kills us because we made a stab. Uh, use next Pokemon. I don't think we can run from this guy. Uh, we know he's rock type, so we'll Swampert and we're just going to Surf and that should kill. Uh, I don't even know if it's super effective. It shouldn't be, but it will kill regardless. Oh, it is super effective against rock type. Kecleon's a fun one because, well, you can build your typing however. There's only one time I like it better, and it's when it has protein. Um, Consider it a gift from me. We have got the Devon Scope, so any more of those obstacles we can get past. We also got Swampertite. Uh, one of the five top five stones in existence in his mind. Something shown for a moment in your bag. A stone? A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Yeah, we have a meteorite in our bag, Steven. I think I thought we would have told you this already uh, when we stopped the first time. Like when we stopped the Team Aqua. Oh. Ahead awaits a natural lab far more fierce than this route. They stop you. I didn't know that. Alright, so we're going to have to head back and beat Winona. Uh, oh. Do you have any moves that can strike flying Pokemon? I have several. Um, I didn't realize that they're going to force us to fight Winona first. That's troublesome, because the item I wanted to get, which would have saved me so much trouble for this gym, is past that point. Maybe that's the reason they do it. Let's swap over. Swampert, just run through this. You've got rain on your side, even. You shouldn't have very much issues at all. I know we have, um, what's his name? 
uh, cast form who is going to take more advantage for this weather than basically anyone else. But, I mean, Swampert is just so good at the level he's at right now, especially against this 32. So we would have been under leveled had we went cast form, but Swampert is just that overpowered with Surf. Heck, with Mystic Water and Surf, you're in a really good situation. But you were just given Swampertite, so you probably don't have Mystic Water equipped. Good job, Pikachu. 33. Natu? Ooh. You know what? Fine. Cast Form, come on out. Natu, Psychic Flying type, so... I don't think we're going to have anything too special against him. What do we have? We have a choice in Sunny Day, Weather Ball, Hail, and Rain Dance. So we only have Weather Ball. That's really what it is. Wish. We're just going to heal him very soon. Weather Ball hits hard. Interesting. I didn't think it was that powerful, really. I mean, I guess... Because now we're water type, the move is counting as water type because it's raining and all that sort of thing. I guess it's helping. I do want to try to use Cast Form in this next gym. It might be on some of the like earlier trainers just to make sure, but still, I want to try to use them because they're going to be helpful. Uh, if I switch if I can get the Hail Form one, which I mean, now that I know Cast Form has Hail, shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I'm still a little upset that we wind up missing out on um, getting a chance to fight the uh, Winona in our strongest form. But I suppose it's not the end of the world. Let's go heal up and get ready to take on the gym. We might make it up to Winona this match. I don't know that we'll actually get a chance to fight her. Because, I don't know, with our team, we only really have one Pokemon who can handle Winona very well. And that's Pikachu. Uh, between Icicle Crash and uh, Thunder. Well, sorry, Electro Ball or whatever. We don't have too many other ones that can hit. But, on our team right now, five out of the six of our Pokemon are in their last form. Um, the only ones that are really missing it is Armaldo and Pikachu's last upgrade thing. So, Invisible Obstacle. We'll use the Devon Scope and... The previously invisible Kecleon gets scared and runs away. So, nothing too, too urgent that occurs from that. Entering into Gym 6. She's waiting in the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. So here's the gimmick of this gym. Yeah, that's it. Um, so if we go up this side, we'll fight that guy. We can also go up this side, and I think you can avoid every single fight in this gym, with maybe one exception. And so let's give Castorm a shot right here up against this first person. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Alright, bird keeper Jared. Who went to Jared? Yeah, sorry. Um, we're gonna use hail right to start things off because well, all the birds are weak to hail. Well, at least work to ice. Unfortunately, that means Castform is gonna be taking two hits to set this stuff up. And I think Hail only lasts three to five turns. Forecast, we become the beautiful, well, stormy form. And we don't take weather damage, thanks to it. Weather Ball should now be considered an ice type, along with our own typing as ice. So let's see, what is it doing damage wise? Super effective. So if we can set this up against the gym leader, we might have uh, a way of just kind of gliding through all these. 
I'm going to keep battling. I'm going to throw another um, because any of our other team members are going to be negatively affected by hail. This is the other downside to this method. So we're getting three turns and that's going to be just what we need to take out Skarmory. One more weather ball finishes him off. Not my favorite method of this, but definitely give ca gives Casworm a lot more punch than I was expecting. It's a bit sad that I don't think Casworm has a sandstorm form. Uh, because that would be interesting and have a good synergy with our team with a rock type and a ground type. Let's heal up, because this is another downside. Not the most healthy Pokemon. But as it levels up, it should have less and less issues with that. Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Let's find out now. Challenge by Picnicker Kylie. With a Swablu. A nice flying type? I don't even know if it's part dragon yet. I know uh, Altaria is dragon. So we waste a turn using Hail. And then should be a one hit kill after this. I guess that's my big issue with Cast Form. You, there are no one hit, you're done. It's a um, two turn thing. But, I mean, it does have the synergy, it's great in double battles, because if I set up Rainy Day or whatever, not Rainy Day. What is it? Is it just Rain Dance? If I set that up or whatever, that means Swampert's going to go great with Cast Form. Uh, if I set up Sunny Day, that means any Fire move is going to be super, is going to be supercharged, and Water is going to be weakened. Um, the Ice is great against Birds, great against Dragons, two things that are fairly big challenges in most cases. But yeah, you can go take this one. Uh, by shifting it once, you can actually get around it and get to the back. You can fight this guy by going forward or back, but I don't know. I kind of want to kill everything in this gym just to give Castform that much more experience. Another two Pokemon fight means I'm going to use another three Weather Balls probably. Might actually run out of Weather Balls at this rate. Um, Castform only having basically 10 PP is, I guess, a big issue against it. For reference, I don't normally use Cast Form. I don't even normally use Wobbuffet. Uh, I rarely use Latias. Uh, I never really use Anoreth. Like, of my team, the only one that I would use in a regular playthrough is really Swampert. Uh, so that's the other reason I kind of wanted to go out of my way and do the no catch run, because it forces me to use team members that I honestly didn't think were that good. Ooh, Pelipper. This. This is going to be interesting, because I don't think Weather Ball is going to hit him nearly as hard. Thanks to his half-water typing. But, I mean, he still hits by hail. I think we might have one more battle in cast form right now. Which is good, because I think we only have one more trainer. Uh, left on this half of the area. Good job, Wobbuffet. Yeah, I think there might be one more on the other half. Uh, bag, we can heal up again. It's just a soda pop, really. Cast Form's back up to basically full. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortune Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Interesting. Alright, we'll see it, we'll see it. Bird Keeper will. With Dodrio. Now, there is one thing I want to test. This is without using, uh, what's it called? Hail at all. So we're just going to straight Weather Ball. It does nothing damage-wise. All right, we have to switch to Hail and then go from there. 
critical hit. We're down to one HP. The hill has come down. Uh, but it's it. Dodrio is too much faster than me. We're gonna have to move him out before anything else. Um, get some chip damage out while we do it, though. So that's at least one nice thing. Oh, it's actually our last used item. You know, actually, I think we have an ether on us. We could probably just uh, rush through the gym one run anyways, because, well, we've got enough healing, we've got enough PP to restore. So, Weather Ball, is that going to be strong enough? Yes, try attack, I've seen you use it before. Nope. Of course they get the paralysis. Like I was saying earlier, if they're using a move that should have a status, it's going to hit you way more often than the same move will hit them for the status. Alright. Oh, wait. I need to... No, actually, I guess I don't have to worry about this one first, because I can always correct it from down here. So there is the last person at the gym. Let's heal up for them. One soda pop. My paralysis heal, that worked out well. Um, and then... Aleppa. I use Aleppa berries so much in... Uh, oh, what is it? Ultra Sun and Moon, because just... You can get so many of them, and they're great for... Oh, you don't even want to fight me there. Well, fine, I'll fight you here. As a bird Pokemon, I saw him in Square to battle fair and square. I guess he doesn't want to get within the spinning range of that, which, I, I mean, makes sense. It would be bad if he was standing there and you just couldn't get past him because of that. A Pelipper, you know what? Actually, we're going to switch. Uh, it's a weird situation since we did just go out of our way to heal up Pikachu. But we're going to switch, we're going to bring out, sorry, heal up uh, Cast Form. We're going to bring out Pikachu for this one. Because, well, while Pelipper is a nice, strong target, Electro Ball should make pretty quick work. Though. Four time weak, he goes down. Sorry, something's in my eye, it feels like. And we reached level 34. Alright, so faster does more damage as opposed to yeah, just 80 flat. There you go. Have your 80 flat. Pikachu learned discharge. As a bird Pokemon user, I admit defeat, fair and square. Um, I said I was going to do it, so let's do it. We're going to put Wobbuffet in the lead. Uh, we can set up with Cast Form anytime, really, uh, but Wobbuffet is going to help at least clear out one or two before Cast Form hits the field. And you'll see as we go through, I'm going to try to rely on Swampert less and less. Uh, because he really, he, he sh got a chance to shine for most of the first half of the game. Um, I think Pikachu helped a little bit, but the first five gems, without Swampert, I don't know that I could beat. If I was really relying just on Pikachu um, from the third gem on, I don't know. Hello, Swellow, starting off with a nice... Uh, Rock Slide would take it out pretty quick if you've got Swampert still. Uh, but we've got Swellow here. I'm going to use Counter. I feel like he's going to, yeah, Aerial Ace. A guaranteed hit, which means guaranteed reflected damage. Not quite enough to kill, though. So we'll take another... Ooh, you know, if I can bait out the Hyper Potions, I'd be okay with that. Because I think... I think she gets two. A lot of the gym leaders do get two. Ah. 
And since if there is a second one, we're gonna need more health, really. Let's just drink a soda pop. And if she doesn't heal, she's out of hip potions, so it's a win-win in either case. Double team. I don't know if uh, counter has a chance of missing. One of those things. Accuracy 100. Oh, so it does have a chance of missing. Okay. Endeavor. Oh, so it has two health left. Um, but Wobbuffet is down. There's not really anything short of full healing Wobbuffet again that we can do to, to get him back into the game. And since Wobbuffet always moves second, uh, you know what? Even though Wobbuffet always moves second, what do I have for healing? If I've got a full restore, I'll use that. But I don't, so we're going to have to go with and move out. What damage are we looking at from one of your attacks, Altaria? I know you, you hit hard. Earthquake. All right. From 107 down to 66. 41 damage? Uh, Earthquake's physical, so let's use counter. And that one's special, I bet. Alright, we're not getting this. Um, why not? Destiny Bond, doesn't matter. We wouldn't have got a chance to move anyways. With us paralyzed and being Wobbuffet, it's it's not a, not a good time. But Cast Form, come on out and see if you can finish it up for us. Throw out some hail to start things off. I don't know if we'll have to reapply this halfway through because I know that, um, what is it, Winona has a Skarmory, which means they're going to have a few things to guard with. Oh, yeah, keep raising your defense. That's, that's fair. Weatherball, are you special? You are sweet. Ignore the, ignore the defense. Altaria goes down, dragon flying type, quad effective for my ice move. Uh, but I bet you, eh, what is it? Sorry, um, Skarmory is coming up next. This one's probably going to take two hits. Ooh, but we're tied levels this time. If I had another fire type on my team, I might have switched to Sunny Day for this. Even though I already do have one that's hitting him pretty hard because I know Sunny Day would at least set up my other person, as well as still do super effective against Skarmory. I didn't realize just how fast Cast Form is. Uh, I guess Skarmory is a bad example to go against for it. And we'll end it off with Pikachu, because, well, one, they do send out a quad week to electric Pokemon, and I just got my new electric move. I guess I should take advantage. Ooh, but Pikachu's lower health than I thought. Protect. Okay, I can live with that. The hail stopped, so no extra damage on Pikachu. No free damage on Pelipper, unfortunately. But Pelipper goes down from a crit and super effective. It had no chance. So all in all, that battle was Wobbuffet, Cast Form, and Pikachu taking them all out. Good job, Swampert. You really... Muddy Water. Yes. Oh, it's a water type move. I, I always thought it was a um, ground type move because I thought it was just a ground surf, not a worse surf. A surf that, what, attend, uh, occasionally lowers uh, accuracy? No big deal, but we've managed to get the sixth badge, which means that guy will let us pass. Um, and we can now use Fly. So, we could go back and visit our parents at any time. 
Also gives us Roost. Roost is helpful for a lot of Pokemon, not so much anyone on our team, though. So, thank you guys for watching the Pokemon Elsa Sapphire No Catch Run. In the next part, we continue on. We make sure to pick up Pikachu's power up and see what else we can do on our way to, I believe it was Mount Pyre that was mentioned in the Weather Institute. So, see you guys then.